Championship four as we head to Phoenix in a week. Off turn number four, headed for the Geico restart zone and the green flag goes back in the air. Racing again at Martinsville. Chase Briscoe on the inside lane. He's got his teammate Cole Custer topside. Briscoe is there. He will lead the way off turn number two. Chase Briscoe to the lead. Custer now will be challenged on the inside by Kyle Larson. Custer across the nose. He'll slide down into the low line. Boy, that's a huge move right there for Custer to seal off Kyle and Brad. Briscoe leads with 24 laps to go make it 23. Chase Briscoe is out front. Kyle Larson riding third, but he's got a big time challenge from Brad Kislowski. Bradley around the outside. He'll take third. He's not done yet. He's coming after Custer. He is indeed, but Custer's running hard in the second spot. Keep in mind, Cole Custer and that team lost their appeal for what NASCAR deemed kind of manipulating the race and the finish of a race. He's going to drive hard now on the back stretch. And he's got every right to do exactly that. Briscoe beginning to get away. Chase Briscoe, three car lengths up with the lead in turn four. The 27 year old driver that must win is out front. Custer goes second. What are you watching, Alex Hayden? Well, Denny Hamlin just laid the bumper to Ross Chastain. Chastain gives it right back to Hamlin in turn two. Give and take now among two drivers that have got some history. Chastain on the bottom, Hamlin left turns him. They bounce off each other, go into turn number three, side by side for position. They are separated by only two points. They'll bang again. Hamlin may have gotten the wall. Here comes Hamlin back at Ross Chastain in turn number one. The gloves are off. Hamlin goes up the banking. No contact that time. They come off turn number two. No contact as they race down the back straight away, side by side into turn three. Both of these these drivers are on the cut line to make it to the championship four. Hamlin's got to finish four spots in front of Chastain to advance. Right now, Hamlin is right in front of him. Rash Chastain would have been smart, I think, to just let him go and cease the hostilities because he's still got three spots in hand, but he's got heavy-duty traffic on the back bumper, including Harrison Burton and Kevin Harvick, who lights up all four corners getting into three. Chastain cannot give up another spot, and Hamlin needs to make up another spot. Denny Hamlin to the back of Chase Elliott. Hamlin down the back straight away, unable to pull out a line. He'll continue to try and dial up another spot or two. Front of the pack, Chase Briscoe is away by four car lengths. Ch uh, Denny Hamlin's got in his back pocket winning stage one and stage two. He maximized the points from early on in the race. He now has a two-point deficit. He's going to the inside of Elliott to try to make it a one. Every spot could be the difference. Denny Hamlin down to the inside of Chase Elliott. Side by side into three. Hamlin by a nose as they bang caught in front of the pack and they're three wide off four. Now you've got Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell, Ryan Blaney banging one another in position number four. Blaney right there gives a shot to Kyle Larson. Keselowski and Bell got together big time in turn four and almost crashed. Keselowski away to third. Larson underneath the fourth. Now Christopher Bell beginning to backslide. He's on the outside of the Kyle Larson car. Both of them have donuts down the side of their machines from bouncing off of one another. Here comes Denny Hamlin down low. He's going to dial up the inside line and pick up another spot. He drives under Bubba Wallace. Bubba hangs with him into turn number three. At the moment, Bell out. Blaney out, William Byron out, and Denny Hamlin out, but Denny Hamlin's doing everything he can as he works right behind Joey Logano. Denny Hamlin's got the phasers set on kill right now on a turn number two down the back straightaway. He'll put the crosshairs on the back bumper of the Joey Logano machine. Three cars behind him. Ross Chastain trying to keep pace. Chastain trying to keep Harrison Burton behind him. Burton's got every right to try to improve and get a great finish for the Wood Brothers. Chastain cannot afford to lose another spot to Denny Hamlin. Hamlin trying to pick one up. Here's the battle for second. Brad Keselowski, he's got the low line. He'll take it away from Cole Custer. And Denny Hamlin and Ross Chastain are tied at the moment. 11, make it 12 laps to go. Chase Briscoe trying to steal this one here this afternoon. Briscoe pulling away for the moment. He's ahead by six, maybe eight car lengths. Brad Keselowski now has the number two spot. 
Keslowski trying to run away, but here comes Christopher Bell. He'll clear Cole Custer. C. Bell in desperation mode. He needs to win to advance. He's the third. Further back, Denny Hamlin's trying to get another one. He's got the inside on Joey Logano. Down the back straightaway for what could be a spot in the playoffs. Denny Hamlin to the inside, moving up again. Ten laps to go. Martinsville Speedway Championship implications on the line. We'll follow Denny Hamlin. He needs this spot. Hamlin on the inside, Logano on the outside. As Denny Hamlin runs and guns for a spot, Ross Chastain beginning to work over Chase Elliott for position. Down the back straightaway. Hamlin on the inside. Logano on the outside. Give the spot to Denny Hamlin. Hamlin tries to clear Logano. He's successful. Le uh, Logano falls behind Hamlin. Now Denny Hamlin is in by one position. Ross Chastain now is going to have to find another spot. He is a half a car length back of the Chase Elliott machine at the front of the pack. It's tightening up. Here comes Brad Keselowski. And make no mistake about it, Brad wants to go to victory lane. Chase Briscoe under attack. He cannot afford to lose the lead. He will advance if he wins. Keselowski bumps him off turn number two. He nearly gets sideways. Here comes Christopher Bell to the outside. They're going to go two by two for second place. Banging all to each other off turn number four. It's Keselowski and Christopher Bell. Wheel to wheel for the number two spot. Bell on the outside lights up the tire. So does Brad. Chase, uh, uh, Christopher Bell on the outside runs and guns. He's up to the number two spot. Keselowski drop kick back to second. Kyle Larson is there in the number four spot. They are all chasing Chase Briscoe. Top two have to win to advance. Briscoe's got the spot. Bell needs a spot. Six laps to go. Chase Briscoe and Christopher Bell. Chase Briscoe win or else. Christopher Bell win or else. They go one, two down the back straightaway. For what it's worth, Christopher Bell's team put four fresh Goodyear tires on the car on lap 470. Chase Briscoe stayed on the track. He's on much older tires trying to hang on. Here they come out of turn two. Christopher Bell opens the hole to the inside. They bang coming off turn two. They are side by side down the back straightaway. Christopher Bell takes the lead lap 496 as they bump a little further back. Four laps to go at Martinsville. Christopher Bell back out front looking to advance to Phoenix further back. Ross Chastain is on the move inside of Chase Elliott. He takes the spot to the inside of Elliott. Every position could be life and death at the front of the pack. It's Christopher Bell pulling away. Now Ross Chastain to the inside of Chase Elliott. If he clears Elliott, that will put them tied with Denny Hamlin for the last spot. Tiebreaker belongs to Ross Chastain. And it's a mess in front of Denny Hamlin. Denny could pick up another spot here. He's going to go to the outside. Now he'll dive back to the bottom. He'll try and go under Chase Briscoe. He'll get it done. He gets into the 24 car. Hamlin will pick up another spot. Two to go. You can hear the crowd. They're on their feet at the Martinsville Speedway. Bell trying to advance, same for Denny Hamlin. Christopher Bell down the back straightaway, has the lead by six car lengths. Denny Hamlin has the number five spot now as they race into turn three. Off turn four, white flag is in the air. Christopher Bell takes it. He sets sail for turns one and two, trying to walk off. For the second time in the last four weeks, Christopher Bell has been in a do or die situation. He is still alive. Final time in a three, Christopher Bell for the line. He had to win and he's going to win. Here comes Christopher Bell. He'll score the win further back, Ross Chastain. Chastain did a video game move, drove it and never lifted. Put it against the safer barrier in turn three, never lifted all the way around the turn. And Ross Chastain passes Denny Hamlin. Ross Chastain will get into the playoff. Hey. I cannot believe what I just saw. He came down the back straightaway wide open, never lifted. Almost 70 miles per hour, faster than anybody. Beat Denny Hamlin by four feet to the line. Never in my life have I seen a move like that. 75 year anniversary at the Martinsville Speedway and never, ever, ever has there been a move like we just saw made by Ross Chastain. A video game move as you pointed out, Alex Hayden. Unbelievable as I'm calling Christopher Bell to the line and for the win, Chastain running uh, uh, what you said, 70 miles an hour quicker than everybody else, laid that car up against the outside retaining wall, 
and has driven himself in to an opportunity to race for a championship along with Christopher Bell, Joey Logano, and Chase Elliott.